Aloha, my name is Bailey and this is my co-host, Kolu. We want to show you how you could possibly save someone's life by following the Chain, chain of Survival. Be the beef, don't you stand there. Call 911, push hard and fast. Where? Sometimes, people will suddenly collapse for no apparent reason and need help. Would you know what to do if you saw somebody collapse? Start the Chain of Survival. Tap them and ask them if they're okay. Uncle, uncle, are you okay? If they don't respond, Someone yell for help. Call 911. What would you do if you saw someone collapse at your school? Pause this program now so that you can discuss your school's emergency plan. People may collapse because they may have a heart problem that they did not know about. Let's listen to a mother's story. My daughter Kristen was a 28-year-old um, school teacher and she had led a feisty and a healthy life throughout. Um, everybody remembers her for her smile and her infectious laugh. And she had two passions in life. One was Italy and everything Italian. She got into that because she took Italian at the University of Hawaii and it became second nature to her. She ended up living, moving to Italy after graduating and living there for three years. And I guess it was destiny because that's where she met her amore, um, her husband. They got married in 2005 and in 2006 he was willing to leave his home in Florence, Italy and move halfway around the world to start a new life with her here in Hawaii. So in 2006 she got a job teaching preschool, special education, and um, just like when she was living in Italy, she'd call me and say, Mom, I'm living my dream. She'd say the same thing when she was working with her preschoolers. And they became her own children because she adored them and motivated them to achieve beyond expectations. Everything was falling into place. Her dreams were being fulfilled. They were looking forward to starting a family. But it all changed at 10.20 a.m. on May 27th of 2009 when I got a phone call from her school telling me that she had collapsed in a special education articulation meeting. An autopsy took 10 weeks and the results were that she had died of natural causes due to probable cardiac arrest. And the first thing that I thought of when I learned that she died of cardiac arrest was get an AD for her school. I didn't, I'm not in the medical profession, I know nothing about this kind of things, but somehow I think through divine intervention I met up with people who taught me a whole lot about sudden cardiac arrest, how it's different from a heart attack, and how people, bystanders, ordinary bystanders can help. What happened to this young, healthy teacher was caused by a heart problem. What would you do if your teacher collapsed? Start the chain of survival. Tap them and ask them if they're okay. If they don't respond, yell for help. Call 911. What can you do next? Start hands-only CPR by pressing as hard as you can in the center of the chest with a fast, steady beat. If you can, try to get an adult to help you. You can tell them what to do. Place your hands in the center of the chest. Lock your elbows. Press down really hard with a fast, steady beat. If you get tired, let someone else take over, but keep going until help arrives. Let's talk to Dr. Char, an emergency room physician. A heart attack is a circulation problem, like a plumbing problem. And usually there's a blockage or a closure of one or more blood vessels, so it prevents the heart from getting oxygen-rich blood. Uh, symptoms of a heart attack, people usually complain of chest pain or shortness of breath. And a heart attack can lead to sudden cardiac arrest. Well, sudden cardiac arrest is different from a heart attack. It's more of an electrical problem, like a short circuit. So it causes the normal heartbeats to stop. The heart stops beating. The victim's not breathing. He's not breathing. I'm going to start CPR. OK, Kelsey, go to the office. Maria, call 911. I'll get the AED. And the thing is that this can happen to anyone, anytime, any place. It can happen to young, healthy teenagers, athletes, anybody. I need an ambulance. Yes, it's an emergency. My teacher just collapsed. Yes, here at Kalani High School. Okay, thank you. 
Here we go, I got the EED. Here, open it. Alex, take over. Start CPR. I'll open the EED. An automated external defibrillator, otherwise known as an AED, is a small portable device and it delivers a shock through the person's chest to the heart. What it does is it wipes out those abnormal heartbeats and it allows the normal heartbeat to resume so that the heart can start pumping again. Analyzing. Shock advised. Press the flashing shock delivered. Be sure emergency medical services have been called. I continue CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. Begin CPR. For help with CPR, press the flashing blue button. The sooner you get help, the better the chance of survival for the person you are helping. Some schools or public places have a machine called an AED that can help restart a person's heart. There are different brands of AEDs that come in different shapes and colors. To use an AED, open the case, press the lighted button, and follow the audible instructions. AEDs pose no danger to the victim. It will not shock a person who has a normal heartbeat. Pause now to discuss what to do if someone collapses outside of your school. Remember, follow the chain of survival. Call 911. Start hands-only CPR. And use an AED if one is available. Glenn, can you call 911? You know what, there's an AED right here on the wall. Can you grab the AED? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start CPR. You got the AD, can you bring it over here? Um, you're gonna have to turn it on. Okay, um, we're gonna have to lift up his shirt. So when I stop, can you help me lift up his shirt? We're gonna have to make it clear. Okay. Remove Red. clothes from patient's chest. Okay. Look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Peel one white pad from the gray case. Okay, we're Place up here. pad exactly as shown. Press firmly, stay clear of okay, patient. Let's get, get. Analyzing heart rhythm. Stay clear of patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. Okay, Stay clear of patient. Shock delivered. Be sure emergency medical services have been called. It is safe to touch the patient. Begin CPR. For help with CPR, press the flashing blue button. You okay? He's breathing, he's breathing. Breathing now. He's breathing now. His eyes are open. His eyes are open. All right. One minute, fifteen seconds until. You can save a life. Visit the website bethebeat.heart.org. That's bethebeat.heart.org. You can access video games and prizes for interactive learning. Push hard. Here's an easy song to help you remember what to do. When I need help, who do I call? 911, 911, ambulance or doctor, firefighter, police. Nine one. 